Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of New Vegas. All right, we left off. We had just dealt with the uh, White Glove Society in the best way I wanted, so now we're going to go talk to Yes Man. That was weird how I couldn't use the fucking door handles to get into the Lucky 38, but hey, all right. Uh, look. Whoa! Dog meat! Okay. That must have been a holdover animation from uh, when he went over to uh, the Kings. He's supposed to be in the house, or in the penthouse technically, but uh, he r came running back. <laughs> I think I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what was going on there, but uh, not penthouse. Uh, presidential suite. There we go. That's my room. Because I wanted. Where are you going? Gannon? What in the hell's bells are you doing? Hey, Kate. Hey, girl. Kate Cass. God damn it. I mix up my redheads every goddamn fucking time. God fuck damn it. I'm an asshole. That's what I am. I'm an asshole. Yes, Rex. Yes, you are a good pupper. Good pupper snuffer. Okay. I'm gonna check the workbench. I can't make anything. Great. What I thought. Fuck. Okay. Am I? Oh, I can open the oven. Get squirrel stew. Or this one. To get gecko steak. Which is okay. Not great, but it's okay. Um, I'm trying to find a way to cook something. Oh, these refrigerators are so clean and nice. I love it. Okay. But there's nothing I can use them with. So no point uh is there any way i can cook in this fucking room is that only in the sink i can do everything really I can like reload my you know cases I can yep the only real thing that this one has is this the workbench and the fact that I can send people to here that's it it's the dumbest fucking thing. I want more. Be able to be doable in here. But no. No, of course not. That would mean it'd be a useful room. And we're not allowed useful rooms. Ugh. Okay. At least I have my people and my pupper, schnuffer, dogger cute. All in here. Oops, I went to the casino floor. Don't know why. I meant to go to the penthouse. Because we're going to tell Yes Man about what we did with the White Glove Society. But I wanted to visit the... <laughs> I wanted to visit, visit the penthouse presidential suite. Rather, I can't fucking talk. My brain is broken. <laughs> okay. And... Uh, this was a long way around. Here we are. Oh, yes, man, it's me. Oh, hi again. Can I help you with something else? Yes, uh, let's talk about the tribes I should get to know. Please, go on. Because, uh, they had a cannibalism problem, but I solved it. A cannibalism problem? Really? I'm so glad you weren't eaten. That's four down, just one to go. Something about that. <laughs> Something about that. I'm so glad you weren't eaten. <laughs> sounds so sarcastic to me <laughs> and I don't know why I'm not ready to decide what I want to do with the brotherhood yet no rush take your time we're gonna be dealing Anything with them else next I can help with? all right uh, let's talk about something else about going away bye bye okay cool all right now that we've done that I'm gonna go I should really do it in the proper way there we go Instead of just wandering around like an idiot. There we are. And with that all taken care of, now we can move along <sighs> to uh there's a there's a couple things I wanna do while we're doing the uh doing that quest for 
finding the Brotherhood. Make contact with the Brotherhood of Steel. That's that's the main problem here, because it's going to be a pain in the ass to get to them, unless you go to a specific place, like over here. The 188. I'm going to drink my coffee real quick. Damn it, I'm, lo I'm used to longer loading screens. Okay. Now that we've done this. Mm. Um. Uh. <laughs> what? What the hell happened? Why am I not being followed by anyone? <laughs> ah, some stupid glitch must have happened. Okay. I think I know what happened. And it's stupid. Give me a second. Now, what I think happened is that they stayed right on the casino floor. Either that or they stayed in the presidential suite. Yep. They stayed right on the casino floor. You're supposed to be following me. Lead the way. Yep. And as for you, also follow me. There we go. Now, are they actually going to... Yes. Okay, good. That was the stupid thing. That's what I expected would happen. All right. Whoops. That's not where I wanted to get. Sorry, I sneezed my brains out. <laughs> Sorry for that jump cut. Anyway... Uh, let's head back to where we we're supposed to be going, which was the 188. Oh, boy. I sneezed so hard. <laughs> ah, Jesus. It's like I'm tasting dust right now. Okay. And they're right behind me now, right? Okay, cool. All right. We need to talk to her, hey. Veronica. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Thank you! Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want okay. to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But a I'm not otter. much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. I see. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? Yeah. And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. Oh boy. So listen, can I ask you something on the level? Uh, go ahead. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange oh, yeah? bunch. Do you know anything about them? There's a particular way you gotta answer this. And... Yeah, I know to shoot them on sight. Wow, that's that's not... Not the way you should answer it. They're usually harmless unless you used advanced technology around them. Well, that shouldn't be a problem for me. I can't afford anything like that. Oh, yeah? Hey, so, where are you headed, anyway? Um... I just kind of drift from place to place. <laughs> just wherever the wind takes you, huh? I like that. Keeps things interesting. Cool. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. Oh, yeah? There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. Hmm. You... <laughs> wow. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Huh. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. Oh, yeah? If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay. Uh, where are you going to? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. Oh, yeah? I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. Hmm. Don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. 
it's a big family. Oh, yeah? Uh, I'd like to, but I can't take you with me right now. Aw, you really know how to make a girl feel like a stray cat. But, okay, my offer stands, if we run into each other again. I forgot how much I love Monica. <laughs> Ah, I forgot. Okay, um, Arcade Buddy, I know we just started, but we're gonna have to part ways for just a little bit. What's up? Uh, you're, you're gonna have to go back to the uh, Lucky 38 for right now. Oh, I thought my charm could win you over, but I guess it wasn't meant to be. You sure you want me to go? Just, just for now, but just back to the Lucky 38 for right now. Ah, back to the tomb, I suppose. If you need me, etc. <laughs> Dude, I'll, I'll be coming back for you, man. I promise. But right now, Veronica is awesome. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? Yeah, I'm ready to travel with you now. Good. I'd hoped you'd come around. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. And there's the rub. I know, I know. But I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. Yeah, you have. You still okay bringing me along? Uh, as long as you're honest with me from now on, yes, but you're on a short leash. Absolutely not. You misled me on purpose. Technically, she did, but at the same time, it's because she didn't want to get shot, which is an understandable position. <laughs> so, I'm not going to mind that much. Uh, actually, I think I'm more comfortable now that I know you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Oh, yeah? Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? Absolutely. A bunch I'm... of shut-ins who scorn outsiders and hold technology over them. Gee, where have I heard that one before? <laughs> yeah, that's a... Uh, that's the one that is very close to your neck of the woods, isn't it? Okay, um, Scribe Assistant is a perk that I needed to double-check that I was getting correctly. A scribe Assistant, where's that? There it is. While Veronica is a companion, the player can craft workbench items through Veronica's dialogue. So I can make ammo with Eddie. I'm pretty sure Eddie has a workbench uh, set up as well. And then Veronica, I can do workbench stuff as well. I think. I think. I gotta double check. Eddie, I need to check something with you, buddy boy. Yes, he does have a workbench. Okay. There we go. Uh, There's nothing in the way of ammo I need to make. Okay, let's talk to Veronica. You can't help but notice that the Brotherhood barely exists to these people out here. Yeah. They're like an urban myth. No real presence on the outside. We just don't adapt like we should. Yeah. It used to be that all you needed to get your way was a suit of power armor and a laser rifle. Pretty much. Now, people are armed and organized. They're not afraid. But we still stick to our old approach because it's all we know. True. Power armor and laser rifles are still effective. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Eventually, they'll have to change. I think you're right. We're getting desperate. Hardly enough people to sustain ourselves as a chapter. They'll see the light, sooner or later. But I get the feeling if I don't take matters into my own hands, the change won't come in time to make a difference. Fair enough. That is true. Could you help me craft something? Step into my office. <laughs> Your office, she says. Okay. Uh, okay. It's only... Yeah, it's only workbench items. Yeah, there's nothing else here. Ooh, got something good for me? Maybe. Is it a dress? If I had one, darling, I would. She she loves the shit out of dresses. She wants a dress more than anything in the world. <laughs> uh, I think I have Vera's dress somewhere, honestly. <laughs> uh, she has a lot of fixer, too. I wonder why. Uh... Anyway, other than that... Oh, there we go. The, the, uh, power... The power fist equipped on her after I checked that. That was... Unexpected. There we go. That's her main weapon there. The big old power fist. 
punch you right in the face. I think I have some Saturnite fists at the uh, at the sink still. I could probably give her one of those. Honestly. What the? Uh, oh, she must be in bed. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Cool beans. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, let's fix that with some food, huh? Um, I just picked up some gecko steak not that long ago. Let's use that. There we go. And stats-wise... Uh, where is my H2O? It's pretty high up there. Uh, let's pop a, uh... Pop a purified water. There we go. That'll help. That'll help with the rest of it for sure. Anyway, I'm going to double check. Uh, do I have anything I can give her? I don't think so. don't think she can wear the metal armor, to be honest with you. I mean, she might be able to. But do I want to give it to her is a question. And honestly, no. Honestly, not really. Okay. Uh, with her in tow, it makes it far easier and far less dangerous going into the Hidden Valley over here. But getting into the Hidden Valley means we have to pass by Quarry Junction. Quarry Junction is hell. And you want to know why? Because there's a bunch of fucking death claws. Now, mind you, we just went through an area in the DLC that had a bunch of death claws in it. I'm feeling fairly confident because most of the death claws there are stronger than the Mojave variants. Still don't want to face them, though. <laughs> I'll be honest. I still do not really want to face up with them. <laughs> but... As there's really no real ways to get over to the Hidden Valley without going at least close to Quarry Junction. All the Death Claws they're in. Um, what is with all the enemies here? It's like seven of them. Okay, well, that wasn't the button I meant to press. I always do that. Oh, jeez, come on. Well, oh, jeez. Some dynamite now. Okay, well, that's a thing. Fuck is that guy? Oh, there you are. Fucker. You right in the head. There we go. Perfect. Ish. Now I want to know what the rest of those enemies are. If anything. But... Let's be fair, it's probably something simple like blow flies. Uh, can't really see them though. Um, this one's nearby. What's with this? Let's try and. <laughs> There's just so many of them so close. I want to... Oh. I see. Okay. My perception range is so far that I'm getting pips of enemies that aren't even within really my range. Okay, I see. I see how this is going. Okay. Well, I can use that gecko meat. Well, I can at least say I was uh, aware of them. If I <laughs> if I get run up on, I can just at least say that I was aware of them at the very least. Okay. Now here, I know there's some motherfuckers. Okay, come on. Stop moving. Trouble. Yeah, you don't say. Okay, come on. There we go. There's that one gone. Oops, right behind me. There we go. There goes your leg. Beautiful. What are you 
firing at now? Oh. Bunch of fucking geckos. Okay. Well, I'll give him some parting shots. Sure. Okay, come on. Really? That one had more chance out of all of them, and yet that one was the one that I missed the most? Okay. Let's try this again. There's that shot. And let's do the three shots. There we go. That did it. So I, I could use that meat. I could always use gecko meat. Alright, well. There's all that taken care of. I need to remember to go back there to get those nine mil piece pistols. Pistols. I didn't mean to talk like that. Oh! Hello! You, you, wow. Okay, then. Uh, I don't even know where that fucking thing was. <laughs> Jesus. But you blew its head clean off. <laughs> Sheesh. Whew. Wow. Didn't think a laser could be that pinpoint, but apparently it was. All right. Well, you're dead. Take your stuff. Uh, take the dinamite. Oh, you had a laser pistol too? Well, fuck, I'll take that as well. Fuck you. Like you're gonna be the only one who has a laser pistol. Fuck you. Alright, um. I don't want gecko steak, I want. What is it? Gecko kebab? What did I need? I have the banana yucca fruit. I need jalapeno peppers. I need the jalapenos. Oh, there we are. Uh. Two of those. Beautiful. Okay. And now I can make the kebab. Hell yeah. Beautiful. And four gecko kebabs. Okay. Grab this, because that's always useful ish. Oh, yeah, the vermin rifle. How about that? Good stuff, I guess. Um, I thought that box was something I could look into. Uh, nothing, nothing I can use. Okay. Wow, the fucking perception. <laughs> perception is jarring because I'm used to them being right next to me if I'm seeing them. I'm so not used to them being like several meters away. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well. Okay. Okay. I should probably end this episode here for right now because right now I'm just traveling around and doing fucking bupkis. When I should be going this way. I kind of got sidetracked when I was fighting those uh, fucking powder gangers. But yeah, I should be going this way. And, uh... Yeah. I'll end the episode here for right now while I reorient myself in the way I'm supposed to be going. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and picking up Veronica, who's also just a fucking gem of a person, and uh, going to deal with the Brotherhood now for you. <laughs>